My name is Michelle Williams and today I'll be demonstrating how to apply the Pave Crystal Pedicure nail appliques. I've begun with a fresh application of polish. You can apply this to a gel polish. You want to make sure that the, all four layers of the gel polish are completely cured and that you've removed the inhibition layer. Um, prior to ap applying to a gel polish, you also want to lightly buff the surface. This isn't necessarily to help it adhere better, it's to give the stones a little bit of a texture to grip onto because they'll slip around a little bit more on the gel polish because it's a smoother surface. Whereas the polish, the nail polish, is a little, still a little soft and the stones will actually sink into the polish. So anyway, we've got this freshly applied polish, it's dry to the touch, uh, about five minutes. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the size. Um, our appliques come in different sizes. I'm choosing a size 1 for this application. And you want to line up the first row of crystals with the free edge of the nail. Now I don't have glue on at this point. I'm just going to visually assess where to place the applique. So now that I've made that determination, I'm going to come back and put my glue on. You want to use a brush on nail glue. It will give you the most even application. And you just want to put a thin, even layer of glue across the nail. Being careful not to flood the side walls or cuticle area. This is probably, you know, one of the things that takes the most getting used to is just learning how much glue to apply. If you don't put enough, the stones won't stick as well. And if you put too much, the glue can actually bleed up around the stones to the top of the stone and make them a little bit dull. Neither one of those are the end of the world. They are fixable. Um, but getting the right amount of glue is the key. The second thing you want to do is after you've applied your glue, you just want to let it air dry for just a moment. And the reason we do this is to release the fumes from the glue. If you leave these fumes, they will create a white, frosty layer across the top of the stones as well. So be sure to let those fumes evaporate. Once that's done, it's time to place the applique. Again, I'm going to start by centering the, the stones on the nail, and I start the first row of stones at the free edge. And I put them straight down on the nail, and I stick the applique on either side of the toe, similar to putting on an acrylic nail form. With my other hand, I'm going to lightly apply pressure to the top surface of the stones. This is where your orange wood stick comes in handy because you can get up close to the cuticle edge and the sidewall areas. And you just want to make sure that you're applying enough pressure so that the stones can adhere properly. Once you can tell that the stones have adhered, you just begin removing the applique. As you remove the applique, occasionally you'll see a few stones that don't stick. Just use your orange wood stick to press them back down. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, perfect. Now you can see um, the area where there's no more stones. They've adhered perfectly to the nail. Um, I've got a, a stone here that's kind of stuck halfway up in the sidewall. I'm just going to press that back down. You want to check your, your sidewall and cuticle areas for any loose stones that might potentially fall off. You want to remove those or press them back down. If there's any stones like this that are halfway on and halfway off the nail, you want to glide them back onto the nail so they don't snag. And that's it. So you have a perfect application. Now I'm going to visually assess this and I can tell I can fit one more stone here. This is a good opportunity. This is the same mechanism that you would use for applying a, a stone where there maybe wasn't enough glue or if the customer loses a stone. This is the same process that you'd go through. First thing I'm going to do is remove a single stone from the back of the applique. Using the applique, I'm going to pick that stone back up so you can see this individual stone here. I'm going to roll the applique around my finger so that I can see the edge of the stone. And then using my nail glue, you want to come in and just lightly apply glue to the side of the stone. 
you want to avoid touching the glue with the brush directly or the stone with the brush directly you want to come in from the side just put a little bit on the top surface of that stone once that's done you can place the stone where it needs to go put a just gentle pressure and then remove it and then you're done and so it's that simple and now we've had we have a full application of Pave Crystal Pedicures. Thanks for watching today. If you have any further questions or would like to purchase, please go to pavepedicure.com and either send us a message or do some shopping. Have a great day.